Hi guys, welcome back to Loving Emily. I am Kay. I hope you guys have been very well. I have been, been. <laughs> um, this eclipse has been very like a lot of energy, a lot of changes, just like a lot of fatigue. <laughs> I'm being tired um, to record, but here I am because originally I didn't have any plans of recording for this upcoming week so here I am <laughs> so today I have realized I feel like I've done a video talking about creating a sacred space but I feel like I've talked about my spiritual practices but I haven't talked about cultivating a spiritual morning routine and I was like why not do that because I've had my own and I've been doing it for very long time so let's just dive into my own um spiritual hygiene or spiritual morning routine or whatever you want to call it <laughs> so usually in the morning i start with listening to podcasts um a lot of my podcasts are about self-love self-help spirituality just things of that nature um maybe that's not what you're gonna do but for me it's nice to listen to a podcast in the morning to really start off my day in a really bright on a good note um after that i usually read a book and it depends on the book so i read a lot of self-help books i'm kind of in a stage in my life where i'm more of a self-help spirituality girly girl girly <laughs> um and i just love i love stimulating my mind and learning i love learning um after that, I switch between weeks. So one week is usually filled with my shadow work, but I haven't done shadow work. <laughs> um, I'm kind of taking a break from shadow work for like a month or two. Um, I think it's just a month, but because I don't know, I'll just call to just take a break and give myself a break from it. But um, usually I do shadow work, so it's a way. It's like a spiritual hygiene. It's also um, a way to really continue to release and to really be open about whatever subject or whatever prompts that you have lined up for yourself um and then i usually listen to i watch a reiki video and um depends on whatever the subject is because this lady she has a lot of videos like a long list of videos and i just watched them in order starting from when she first came out with them I also listen to light language videos. Sometimes I do my own light language on myself, um, which I feel like is another way. It's like a spiritual hygiene type of thing. <laughs> and I usually listen to sound healing or people playing stuff with sound bowls or cellos or whatever that pops up in that moment. That's kind of what I do at the moment. So yeah. <laughs> um after that i usually meditate and as of recently especially the last two weeks i haven't been meditating so i would say meditate even though i haven't been meditating so i'm kind of like the person to go to for it but at the same time what is she doing you know <laughs> so if i had to give tips on spiritual hygiene or to keep yourself really vibing um not being in like a low energy and there's nothing wrong with being in low vibrations because we are meant to experience every every emotion whether that's joy whether that's sadness whether that's anger okay when people say sadness nobody's gonna be like sad i'm i'm sad i'm really sad or you know because it's like what no i'm just really happy right now or no one's gonna be like at the moment um, I am upset or I'm currently feeling very mad or angry. Um, people are gonna like throw some joy in there, but you know what I mean, right? So, um, things I feel that helps me to have a spiritual hygiene to make sure my vibration is really vibing or, you know, I'd say in the morning it really helps with the Reiki. Um, also light language videos help, sound healing videos. I recommend that. I would also highly recommend that you ground yourself whenever you have the chance just to go sit outside. Take your shoes off. Plant your feet in Mother Gaia. And like literally just let her love. 
go through from the soils, soils of your feet all the way through and clear and fill you and envelop you with so much love and so much white light. And sometimes there are meditations where it says to, you know, your solar plexus, I can't show you guys, but to imagine the light and following it all the way up past the earth atmosphere into the galaxy and so forth and then coming all the way back down and going to the earth chakra earth star chakra so it's about imagining really calming energy or sometimes you could just go outside and meditate i realized when i meditate in nature i'm more open to messages like i feel like messages come in more for me um and i feel like it helps to really cleanse you and to just makes you feel really <laughs> better i guess for me it makes me feel better i don't know about you but that makes me feel better so <laughs> um i would say light language which really is really beautiful energy to cleanse yourself sage um crystals even though i would say i'm not really a crystal girl i like crystals i like going to metaphysical events or places and i love to look at them i'm not obsessed but i do have crystals and so like i get the hype but at the same time i don't i don't get the hype <laughs> but i understand that crystals are really powerful and they help you and it depends on the crystal and what its key components and what its healing properties are going to do for you so i would say that also i'd also say sitting with yourself enjoying your own company uh spiritual self-care activities you know taking yourself on a spa getting your meditation done um really you know giving yourself your own spa and taking care of your body you know taking care of your mind loving on your body in your mind in your soul and just being really like so in love with yourself and just really aligning those as i said reiki which is that thing too I personally feel like you should get like a Reiki done once in your life, especially in person. But I feel like you should always go back if you know somebody that can constantly do it as much as that you need, need it to be. So we're all different. <laughs> um, this is a really short video, but it's kind of to the, it's kind of towards the point that everybody's spiritual morning routine is going to be completely different. What works for me may not work for you so there's always ways to find things that really excite you and to go try and just try because <laughs> what's gonna happen if you don't try you know like just really get yourself out of there so that to me is my fantabulous amazing <laughs> morning spiritual hygiene morning routine morning spiritual cleanse all of those things and i would also say fasting um can really help you to to cut, really become more in tune with your body and really figure out what's really good for your body ask yourself should i eat this is this really going to do my body any justice and if it's a no it's not a, it's enough and i'm not saying deprive yourself of sweets because don't do that especially if you don't want to do that just limit yourself you know because your body is a body of work and it's a body of art and it's beautiful and we all need to learn to love ourselves love every facet curve everything <laughs> of yourself so i think that's it yeah <laughs> so anyways if you thoroughly enjoyed this video <laughs> which i will try to um i think i might do another may collective reading for us not today but i plan on it so anyways if you enjoyed this please hit that subscribe button like comment share whatever floats your boat and bye <laughs>